Hey guys, I'm back. So at this point, when you see this video, by the time we do this unboxing, um, the big giveaway video should be posted. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the video description just in case you haven't seen it, but you should check that out. It's a long video, but all of it's important. But anyway, here is the December Alpha Outpost, the Artemis. <clears throat> I have heard good things about this. I don't know. This is most likely the last Alpha Outpost box. I have just not been really thrilled since I restarted the subscription. But you guys asked me to, to give it a second look and take a look at it. We did. And uh, let's see what we've got in December's box. Still using the Maxmet Steel Spyderco Manix 2. This has really become my go-to these days. Um, I just love this steel. But let's check this out. Sam's really hoping there's a bone hour or something in here. Uh, hey, do you want to come check this out? Yeah. Alright, so let's take a look at our little, uh, let's see what kind of comic book they've sent us this time. So, the contents. The Artemis Scenario. Um, the History of the Crossbow, Dull Knife, Grab a Mug. I, I did a whole video on this, on like how to sharpen knives without actual sharpening stones. Uh, crossbow Safety, Understanding Arrow Drop, and the Challenge. And then all these warnings, because warning, this is not a toy. Yay, comic book. I hate the comic books. They're so insulting. Um, so here's a thing about the history of the crossbow. If you want to look it up, I guess. Uh, I don't know why this is sticking out of my head right now, but um, either the Norman invasion or the Battle of Hastings, you know, first modern day, not modern day, but uh, first organized military use of the crossbow in Europe. I don't know why I remember that. Um, but one of those things that sticks out. So, crossbow safety, understanding arrow drop, okay, so we've got that. So, let's see, what else? We've got the Artemis patch. <clears throat> Yay. In case you don't know, I'm not trying to insult anyone's intelligence, Artemis, the Greek goddess of the hunt. You know what? We're gonna go slow. Let's take a look at this. I think this is a knife based on everything that was in there. Um, this looks a lot like Gerber knives. Uh, this particular Gerber knife, anyway. Um, well, uh, I don't know any. There's no specs, of course, on this knife at all. I'm sure that if I searched around, you know, Wish.com, or Gearbest, or, uh, I don't know, AliExpress, we can, we can find where this comes from. I'll just put some basic measurements and text down there. It's got a little bit of a thin lock there. Well, the lock is holding, that's good. And a little off-center. I'm trying to avoid the serrations, and it looks like, you know, the blade comes fairly finished. Um, see, it's not the cleanest little slice through, but it's doing it. I'm just trying to, again, avoid those serrations and cut. It's not doing just a glide through, though. You have to really give it, like, a pass through, but I'm not expecting much out of an Alpha Outpost box, to be honest with you. Um, there you go. There's the knife. Alpha Outpost Knife. So, always lubricate your string and barrel after... I guess that said, that's good. Thanks, that's exactly the right time to have this stuff wear off. I think it says three to four shots. Uh... So, some assembly required, but... That doesn't bother me very much. Uh, we got this. This is with bug. Doesn't this look like something that's been used and returned already? Like this has been. What is this? <clears throat> this looks like a rear sight. Uh, 
on. So let me get this thing all put together. Cool, rails, so I can put my laser on there. So apparently, reading these instructions, some of these come with a red dot sight. Um, this one, I, I guess, I does not come with a red dot sight, which does not surprise me at all, uh, and I'm not broken up about that either. So we're going to do this in real time. Uh, place plastic plate behind the limb. Insert the metal pad onto the other plastic plate on front of limb where indicated. And these pictures do not help at all. Got all these little packages to open. So the first step is place plastic plate behind limb. I don't know what the plastic plate is exactly. Is this the plastic plate? Because it comes with a bunch of stuff. It, it doesn't really give you a good lay down. It says three bolts, uh, five bolt armband quiver, if you get the zombie one, hex wrench string, red dot. But like where's plastic plate? What does that mean? And this black and white picture really doesn't help at all. So there's two of these things which I'm assuming this would be a plastic plate, and this is a metal plate. Um, so does it go here? Like, like this is the frustration of trying to sort this out. I don't know exactly what it means. This hit, this fits kind of like this. Uh, so maybe that's what it means. So then we insert the metal plate on top of the plastic plate. <laughs> All right, place plastic plate behind limb, insert the metal pad onto the other plastic plate on front of limb where indicated by the line. So I guess this goes on top with the plastic to plastic. Now it says insert limb into stock, stopping at the white line marked on the assembly. There is no white line marked on any assembly whatsoever. I'm not surprised. And now we're going to tighten up this little screw. All right. Now I'm pretty sure this is the way you're supposed to assemble this. All right. Step one. I should actually be running a timer to see how long this takes me. Step two, slide scope or rear sight onto scope rail and tighten with screwdriver. Many different rifle accessories that use the rail system on my real rifle that go together a lot better than this one. And we'll tighten that up. Securely fasten the crossbow string to outermost groove on one limb tip. So we've got two grooves there. I will fasten this string to the outermost groove. Wow, this is a lot stiffer than it looks. I guess it's good. I guess we don't want it slipping, right? And then it says place the stringer. This is the stringer. Over limb tip and innermost groove and fasten the string to hold into place. All right, so we've almost got the stringer in place. Now we've got the stringer in place. Press back onto the red safety lock button to unlock the cocking handle. So that's there. Hold tightly to both ends of your crossbow and pull the handle backwards until you hear it click. So with this, this bends down. And now, I, I don't know, is this supposed to automatically string into here or, or what? I, I don't know. We'll find out next. Okay, now pull up on crossbow until the limbs are deflected enough for you to attach the available crossbow string loop to the limb tip. Let's pass this through here. Pretty sure we need to do this. Pretty sure. Get that back into that groove. Another thing I've never done is mess with a crossbow. So this is a first time for me. Insert the anti-dry fire clip as shown in step 10. I don't know where the hell this goes because this picture just does not show you anything. <clears throat> I'm really hoping this is correct for the anti-dry fire clip because, again, there's really not a lot of clear directions on where it goes exactly. Uh, then we're going to...
disengage. I'm afraid I'm going to shoot this string across because I haven't put that anti-dry fire clip in. Pull trigger to disengage the string. Okay. Uh, I don't know what this clip was for because it fired just fine without it. And then we're going to remove the stringer. And you know what? This was supposed to go on some earlier step. <clears throat> but now we've got that done. I'll put that on in a minute. So to cock the crossbow, hold the crossbow in your left hand, then press the red safety button and pull the cocking mechanism in a downward motion with your right hand. And now the string is cocked. The safety latch will automatically engage. Return the cocking mechanism to the original position. You should hear an audible click when it locks. And now it's ready to fire. So you can't really get it to want to fire without putting this clip back in and then pushing the safety in. I don't know. Is that, is that supposed to happen? I'm not sure. But when I just do it without... There's that, can you see it in there? There's that little lever that comes down there that doesn't let me, uh, it just it just doesn't let me engage the safety to fire without using this. So I'm wondering if we've got to keep this for every time we want to shoot. And if so, you know, I'm going to have to attach that to it. Well, let me get the other things added on here and then we'll look at it again. So here it is fully assembled with the foregrip, which does not slide onto a rail like things should slide onto one of these rail systems. You'd actually have to take a screw out and kind of open it up, snap it on, and then screw it in. We've got our rear sight, which is fully adjustable, which is cool. Um, front sight is mounted, strings are mounted. Uh, and you know what? The, the thing is, this does not thrill me at all, because uh, I'm sure it's a cool item, like, for sure. But I, I'm not a crossbow guy. I'm not that interested in it. it. It doesn't really excite me that much. You know, I'd rather have a box with, um, you know, three or four decent items that I'm likely to use than, than one that's like a, you know, kind of a, I don't even want to say big ticket because I don't know how much this is or anything, or I'm sure we can find it somewhere that's cheaper than what they say it's worth, but, you know, this is just something I'm not likely to use. The bolts it comes with are all plastic, just plastic with a little steel tip. Um, I guess they just fit right under there, but I guess this wouldn't be complete if we didn't take this outside and just try to shoot it into a piece of wood or something, so let's do that. Let's see, <clears throat> so we're supposed to insert this bolt all the way back to the string, and we'll get it positioned evenly. So again, um, I've already got it rigged up for firing. Uh, that little thingy there is gone. That little notch that doesn't let it fire. And I'm just going to shoot it into a piece of wood right there. Just to, just to see what it does. Uh, these sights are not adjusted at all, so I hope I hit it. And this part came flying back right at me and hit me in the face. Literally in the face. So, <laughs> hey, the good news is I hit it. There it is. The ugh, way to go, Alpha Outpost. I would expect nothing less. The, um, the end of the bolt just broke right off. The steel is wedged in the wood. And this is now useless for using again at all. Fucking fantastic. Maybe this would work better if I got some real bolts, but doesn't that just sum up all of what is Alpha Outpost? All right, well guys, there you go. This is my my last Alpha Outpost box. Um, that was fantastic. That was great. Um, this little knife, I have no idea, but it's probably not worth that much, honestly. It's probably a 9.99 knife at the most. Um, of course, there's no product information in it or whatever, but yeah. So there it is. There's the Artemis. Yay. I had high hopes for December. I really did. Um, end of the gearboxes are usually 
kind of good, something to be excited about. But I bet there's just so many folks that are creaming in their cheese right now over this thing. But I, I, ugh. it is what it is. I don't know. Like I said, I'd rather get a box of, you know, three, four, five smaller, more useful practical items that I'm likely to use than, than this, which, you know, I used one bolt once and the thing split apart and half of it came back and hit me in the face from shooting at a piece of wood. Uh, so, <sighs> all right, Alpha Outpost, you are done. We will be swapping this out for something else. Um, I've got my Patreon guys are giving me suggestions what they would like to see um, since, you know, their contributions on Patreon are basically going to pay for that, that box um, of what they would like to see me replace Alpha Outpost with. So that's it. So anyway, guys, again, giveaway video is online. It's live right now. Go check it out. Um, I think we're going to have a really fun giveaway there. Make sure you understand, you know, how it is that you get in on it and, and, and how it all works. But all right. Well, guys, I appreciate you. You are all awesome. And I will be back again real soon.